Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kevin Harvick's Bushlight Bush to the Moon Ford from 2021. As always, take a look at the box. As you see, you just have the generic Kevin Harvick box. Kevin Harvick, number four, picture of Kevin right there, Stuart Haas Racing. Down the side, you got Kevin Harvick, got Stuart Haas Racing, render the car right there, standard finish. Made total of 936 of these things. Stuart Haas Racing, standard finish, number four, Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick, number four, Stuart Haas Racing, 2021, number four, Action Racing Collectibles. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. Harvick raced this at the All-Star Race at Texas last year. And this is just a beautiful paint scheme. The reason behind it is basically one of those, you know, crypto, Reddit, you know, stocks to the moon, that kind of deal. I don't really care about that, but as a paint scheme, this is fantastic. I said, I love all the details of this car. You got like the night sky with space. You got, you know, rockets, you got planets, you got stars, you got like cosmos, like beautiful blue, purple fades. This is just a beautiful paint scheme. This is one of my favorite Bush paint schemes of all time. I said, I have no idea why Bush randomly ran like a crypto based car like this, but like you see on the back here, it says Hodel my beer. I don't really know any of the crypto stuff, but I know that Hodel is like some sort of crypto term. Which, it's kind of funny because I remember there's a lot of people that were like, when this car like first showed up at the track, we were like, they spelled it wrong. Like, but I guess that's actually supposed to be a crypto term. But, I said, I don't know any about that. I don't, I don't like anything about anything related to crypto, NFTs, any of that crap. But, as far as the paint scheme goes, this is really cool. Anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Bush Light, brewed in the USA. Got a picture of a rocket and a picture of the moon down there. Got Ford Mustang number four and Stuart Haas Racing. Down the side, you have hashtag Bush to the Moon. Got Haas, Jimmy Johnson, Hump Brothers Pizza down there. Got a picture of Bush Light Can as well as Fields and Exalta down there. Mobile One on the C post. On the B post, you have Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Hump Brothers Pizza, and Rush Truck Centers. Has regular tin cheese, but does have a little uh, something. Is it like maybe a police badge or something? Somebody can tell me what that is, but there's some little logo under the Cup Series logo right there. See up here, you got a picture of Saturn and a rocket again. On the back, I said Bush Light, hold all my beer. Got the Ford Michigan license plate, number four and mobile one. Got Bush Light on the deck lid and mobile one on the roof. This is number 329. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you got powered by Ford, Mobile One, Haas, and Wix filters. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck lid. The roof flaps, of course, do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. That's funny. It's it's missing the uh, piece. There's that little piece under the splitter that's supposed to go right there. Huh. I have never seen that happen before. It's literally just, you know, two little holes with two little pegs. But that's really funny. That doesn't really bother me that much because it's not something I would really see normally. But I said that's interesting because there's something to point out is like that is one of the things that makes it hard for customizers is because you see these two screws under there are something you have to get off. You want to remove the body from the car, but they're under a glued plastic piece. So people have to find ways to pry that off to actually customize these cars and, you know, without breaking it in half. But that's funny. Like I said, just a really cool paint scheme. Like I said, the more you look at this car, it's just so detailed. The whole car is wrapped with, like, stars and galaxies and planets and stuff. It's just so cool looking. I said, as soon as this car at the track, I loved it. I'm so glad they produced this. Was, this car was getting odd. Like, it was almost looking like they weren't going to produce it for a second. Like, this car was, like, ran, and it was, like, weeks later that this finally went up for pre-order. It was one of those cars Lionel was just saying nothing. And everyone's like, are you not going to make it? It's like, this is a really cool Bush paint scheme and Harvick's popular, so why wouldn't you produce it? Uh, that was like Kyle Bush ran a slightly different M&M's car. It was like M&M's Summer Grilling or something for the All-Star Race that Lionel did completely ignore. They were just like, we're not, we're not offering it. Which is very odd. I don't know why you would ever skip a Kyle Bush M&M's car. Like, they could be slightly different and they're still going to meet MLQ and so well. I said Harvick's the same way. You could pretty much offer anything for Harvick and it's not going to DNP especially bush paint schemes but said so they even produced the uh was that the beer over wine bush car that he ran at sonoma i'm probably not going to pick up that diecast but i do like they at least did produce it because it wasn't that different but it was different enough that it, i feel like it is worth getting produced in a diecast form 
If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. I would definitely recommend picking this car up because this is definitely going to be a popular die cast. You know, we don't have the same thing with 2020 where like every bush paint scene got produced is clean and a race version. Like this is just the only way you're going to get this car. And said so this is a beautiful, beautiful paint scheme. This is definitely going to be a popular one. So I would definitely pick it up soon if you want it. Remember for all of your die cast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. Use the code BWAC. You can get free ship in any order over $20. So go check that out if you want anything. But I think that's much all there is to say. This has been a review of Kevin Harvick's Bush to the Moon Ford for 2021. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.